your energy forecast for Friday, April 26th. So we had the moon in Sagittarius energy all day. Of course, we just shifted into this Sag energy late last evening. And so this is going to be the very first full day of the moon within that Sag energy, which is going to help us kind of piece things together. We are definitely more optimistic, more confident. We are on a quest to seek higher truth, higher meaning, higher purpose. And a lot of the struggles and challenges that many of us just went through and are continuing to kind of go through. We are tapping into our intuition in a very strong way here today. There is a lot of inner wisdom that has to come out to play. This is integration time, understanding that the aha moments, the revelations, the downloads, they're starting to piece together, they're starting to integrate, they're starting to connect the dots, and we have all of the answers that we're currently seeking out in the external realm actually within us. So we do have to kind of get in alignment, quiet down our mental plane in order for our heart space, our intuition, our higher selves, our soul space to take the lead. Now, there are six different aspects taking place here today. All six are going to involve the moon, which means that we are having a moon day. Moon days are emotional refinement kind of days. And on a Friday that Venus rules over, there's likely going to be a lot of revelation, a lot of aha moments, a lot of insight where relationship dynamics are concerned and where the change of heart is concerned, where new wants, needs, and desires are concerned with how it is that we are operating independently versus how we're operating in that team, group, or partnership dynamic. So with all that being said, we do have the moon in Sag energy, making a very positive interaction with Venus, of course, who is in this Aries energy. This is fire on fire action. We love fire action. Fire action not only helps us kind of burn through the connections, the cords, the attachments that are holding us back, but it also kind of rejuvenates us, regenerates us. It gives us a new spark, new fire, new flame, new passion, new desire to work with. And because this is Venus ruled, this has a lot to do with our heart space, with our new wants, needs, and desires. And again, trying to weigh the pros and cons of what it is that we need to do independently for ourselves versus what we have to do for the team, for the group, for the partnership. The moon in Sag is going to sextile beautiful interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself in this Aquarius energy. Now, this is a beautiful element for a change, for a transformation in our inner realm, where our thoughts, where our emotions are concerned. This is a boss up energy. We are definitely feeling more confident, more optimistic, more in power, in control of not only our emotions, not only our thoughts, but over our reality. We're starting to realize now that the aspects, the wants, needs, and desires that we now want to manifest are actually within our reach. We just got to get out of our own damn way in our inner realm where limited thoughts, limited ideas, limited emotions are concerned. This has everything to do with breaking away from the old belief system, really bossing up to new levels of wants, needs, and desires, and feeling well-equipped and well-prepared to be able to bring these aspects to life. Now, just as we kind of get a little bit ahead, if you will, there is going to be a little bit of a tension point pulling us back. The moon in Sag is going to make a very awkward interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer. Now, this isn't necessarily good or bad, but it's going to kind of put us in a situation to see two sides of the coin, so to speak. We understand Chiron, the wounded healer, is helping us with this identity shift, with bringing forth the new version of self. However, there are still some fragmented parts of the old version of self that are lingering. They kind of get in our way just when we're feeling like we are kind of growing and evolving and healing. And just when we're on the peak precipice of growth, of evolvement, those pieces tend to come out to play, to try and kind of talk us down, talk us out of making the changes, the transformations that we're looking to make. This is highlighting the wounds, again, that are keeping us in this egoic pattern and behavior, this looping situation, if you will. 
But at the same time, because we're able to see kind of both sides of the coin, we're also able to see where it is that we now have the wisdom, the knowledge, the truth, the purpose, the meaning, the understanding to flip the script on those particular not so nice narratives on that not so nice belief system and actually push through it, grow through it and actually heal, repair, evolve that particular part of self that is trying to keep us in a stagnancy. And so the moon goes ahead and makes a very tough interaction with the sun. The sun, of course, and this Taurus energy shining a bright light on where it is that we need to stabilize, where it is that we need to be more present in the here and now, where we have to have the attitude of gratitude, really understanding that we have to focus on the good things in life, the small little creature comforts that make us feel good and safe and secure. This is a realization because again, the moon and the sun, anytime they come together is an emotional realization on where it is that our inner realm is years ahead of this present moment. Meaning in our inner realm, there's lots of thoughts, there's lots of ideas, there's lots of feelings that have us projected so far into the future that we're missing the opportunity for being here in this present moment. And so the conflict that arises here is that emotionally speaking, we're thinking about what could be when the mission as of right now is focusing on what currently is. So there's going to be an emotional, let's call it focus, concentration on where it is that we have to pull back our inner realm from being too far into the future and where it is that we have to push ourselves just a little bit in this present moment to understand that sometimes we have to gain a bigger, broader perspective of where it is that we would like to go in order to figure out what it is that we can do in this present moment to actually align with that goal, with that vision, with that dream, with that future. And so the moon and Sag is then going to make another awkward interaction, this time with Venus again. It was a positive one early this morning. This one isn't positive or negative as much as it is, again, giving us the option to see the options, the choices, the decisions that we currently have before us. So again, this is like a, I'm going to say a little bit of a reality check where we have had a change of heart, where we are kind of exploring what it is that we want, need and desire for ourselves, what it is that we want, need and desire for our partnership, for our relationship, whatever the group, the team needs. And so, you know, there has been this, I'm going to call it awakening within all of us where Venus is entered into this Aries energy. It's a brand new, clean, fresh, start for her she is a little bit more forthcoming with where it is that she has to break away she has to create time energy space distance in some of her closest relationship dynamics in order to honor thyself there are things that we all need to be doing on our individual path for our own individual growth in order for us to reach our soul's potential on a solo quest, on a solo adventure that requires us to do what we need to do for ourselves while still honoring the commitments that we've made with other people. And so again, our values are changing, our priorities are changing, our wants, needs, and desires are changing. And again, the moon and Sag has us focused on the greatest, grandest vision that we could possibly even fathom at this point. But the real focus needs to be in this present moment, what we got going on right now, what is working, what isn't working, doing something about the aspects that aren't working, leaning all the way into the things that are working. And again, realizing where it is that we have this push and pull so that we have to learn how to balance our energies, our time, our attention, our focus to honor thyself and still honor those partnership commitments that we've made with other people. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon and the sun coming together once again, this time in a positive interaction. So something has definitely shifted over the course of the day where we realize that, yeah, it's great to lose ourselves in fantasy land, in the la la land, so to speak, in order for us to conjure up a goal, a vision, a dream, a let's call it target for us to actually reach and meet. But at the same time, if we're constantly living in our inner realm of thoughts and projecting ourselves into the future, then we are fragmenting our wholeness, our completion, our whole total energy here in this present moment, which of course the sun in Taurus needs us to be grounded, anchored in the present moment, in the physical body and stop projecting ourselves so far into the future. We need to be operating from a place of wholeness. And again, this is integration time. So there is an emotional, let's call it epiphany, 
revelation, realization on where it is that we have to kind of pull the reins back in our inner realm. Yes, it's good to conjure up a dream, a goal, a vision, but not so much that we are abandoning our ability to actually align with said goal, vision, dream, and target here in the present moment. We have to kind of become a little bit more present, grounded, anchored into this present moment, have the attitude of gratitude for what's going on right now, and taking every opportunity to align with the greater, grander goal, vision, and dream that of course our inner realm is very much focused on manifesting.